In this video, we're gonna be talking about how Palantir could be the next 10X company. First off, Palantir is a little bit difficult to understand. So in this video, we're gonna be making it as simple as possible. Simply put, Palantir helps other organizations make sense of their own data so that decision makers can use that data to make better decisions. So in other words, a company or a government institution has a ton of data. Palantir helps to process that data and make it presentable to decision makers. With the help of Palantir's flagship software called Foundry, companies or government institutions can run their data through machine learning models and make predictions about what's likely going to happen in the future, giving a superpower to the organizations using that software. To give you an idea of some of the things that Foundry can do, one of the things that can create is something called a digital twin. The best way I could describe this is imagine a company has a digital representation of itself and it puts it into a video game. In this video game technology, a company can run what if scenarios and simulate what would happen in the real world in a risk-free way. For example, it can ask like, what would happen to inventory and demand if I increase prices by 10%. Another thing that the software can do is it can alert decision makers before something bad happens. Like if a sensor on a machine from the factory floor is sensing something abnormal, it can mean that that machine is likely to fail soon and it can alert decision makers preemptively. Another powerful use case of Foundry is when multiple companies use Foundry at the same time and form a consortium where they all work as one company and all share information with each other, basically creating a group company that all have superpowers, kind of like the Justice League. Some people call Palantir a consulting company and other people call Palantir an AI company. And in reality, they're kind of like both. Palantir is a consulting company that helps other companies or organizations create their own AI so that they can make sense of their own data. And actually, companies can make their own AI foundry-like product by going out to multiple vendors and piecing together all the parts. But the reason why companies use Palantir instead of using their own in-house AI product is because creating their own in-house AI product is super, super hard. It typically takes many years. Many of them do never get to completion anyway. And the ones that do get to completion typically doesn't perform the way that the company wanted it to perform. According to tech research company Gardner, big data AI projects have about an 85% failure rating, whereas Palantir probably has about a 90% success rating. If the AI revolution is the next gold rush, then Palantir is essentially selling shovels during this gold rush. They are selling the tool needed for others to mine for gold. But to say that they're selling shovels in a gold rush is not entirely accurate. It's more accurate to say that Palantir is selling an entire gold mining kit and teaching gold miners how to mine. A criticism of Palantir is that they're just a consulting company, so therefore they can't scale. But what a lot of people don't realize about Palantir is that through this consulting process, Palantir has created a platform for other companies to create their own software. Foundry is a platform for other companies to construct their own machine learning slash AI models. It's highly speculative, but there are a couple ways that Palantir can scale Foundry in the future. Recently, Palantir has created a certification program. Today, it's small scale and only for existing Palantir customers, but in the future, it may become widely available so that anyone can learn to create AI products using Foundry and even implement Foundry from beginning to end. These certifications have the potential to eliminate the need for Palantir to get involved during implementation and just have Foundry certified individuals implement it for them. Palantir is also actively trying to create a developer community where hopefully one day people will be able to create their own AI software and sell it to the public without Palantir even getting involved. Palantir may just be there to facilitate the transaction and take a cut. Let's talk about the founders of Palantir and the employees who worked there. The idea for Palantir came from Peter Thiel, who co-founded PayPal along with Elon Musk. Thiel thought that a methodology used at PayPal to detect fraud would be a great technique to use to detect terrorism. So he built a team around that idea. At the time, 
and probably still today, Thiel was considered one of the most intelligent and influential people in Silicon Valley. So you can just imagine the network this guy had around him and the talent that this guy was able to attract. The CEO, Alex Karp, met Peter Thiel while studying to get his law degree from Stanford University. He then went on to get a PhD in philosophy from a German university where he learned to speak German fluently. Somewhere along the way, he also learned to speak French. So obviously a very intelligent guy. And even though he says he's not very good at sales, his track record tells the opposite story because he was able to secure most of the major government contracts that Palantir had today. The other co-founders, Stephen Cohen and Joe Lonsdale were computer science graduates from Stanford. Nathan Getty was an engineer from PayPal. Together, they were able to create the original prototype for Palantir to successfully present to the US government. So there's a lot of talent in this founding team. When it comes to the employees of this company, Alice Karp has frequently talked about how they're able to attract some of the best talent in the world. And even though this claim is hard to verify, if you look on Glassdoor, there's a ton of references about how smart everyone is who works there. And if you look on YouTube, you'll find videos about how hard the interview process is and how hard it is to get hired over there. This exclusivity is a clue about the talent pool over there. At its current growth rate, it's unlikely that Palantir can 10x its stock price, but by investing in Palantir, you're investing in a company that has super smart founders who hire super smart employees, and you're betting that when a lot of smart people get together, they make killer products, no pun intended, that eventually make a ton of money. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.